A former Mountain Police officer wants to know why he was fired. He's asking to see documentation. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us from the Western News Center. Rex, is he likely to get it? Curtis Lambert worked as a patrol officer for the Silva Police Department, and he was let go last week. And he thinks politics might have been involved since he's running for the Jackson County Sheriff's Office. That's denied by Silva Town leaders. And to get paperwork, he'd have to work around state law. I'm really not sure what to make of it. Curtis Lambert was a Silva police officer up until a week ago. The town's personnel action form indicating he was laid off. I would like to see something in writing of, of why this all happened. Lambert wrote a letter to town manager Paige Robertson. Uh, according to the letter, I'd like to have all my performance evaluations and everything that, that, that was in the letter, you know, any documents that were used to you know, used towards my dismissal, and, and I've not received anything as of yet. Under state law, the town says it's limited in what it can release. The general statute only allows us to disclose his birth date, rate of pay, hire date. It's very general information that's listed in the statute without his written consent. Robertson says more could be released if Lambert signed a waiver. And in North Carolina, as an at-will state, someone can be fired at any time without providing information. Lambert is a candidate in a crowded field for Jackson County Sheriff. I'm a Republican running against several Democrats. And thinks politics could be at play behind his firing. I don't know how much, but it sure does seem like politics is, is a part of this. A charge denied by the town. His running for sheriff has nothing to do with his term being terminated by the town. Lambert says losing his job with the Silva Police Department has only inspired him to focus even more on the campaign. I am still running for sheriff and uh, hopefully intend to be sheriff. But he's still looking for answers about his firing. If Mr. Lambert allows us to, re to release additional information, that's a different story. To date, Lambert says he has not received an answer to his letter, nor has he signed a waiver allowing the town to release more information about his case. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge, News 13.